not generally a nice day out there today. It was a bit humid, especially as you stepped out the door. Temperatures uh, kind of feeling like summer out there with those temperatures in the 80s. Uh, taking a live look at that satellite. No storms in our area right now, but we are watching a broken line of storms out towards our west. That area will start to move into our region again. Not everyone will see a storm today, but a couple of them could be strong and potentially severe with some damaging wind gusts. Again, not everyone is going to see that storm this evening, but that potential is there as we head towards your five and six o'clock hour. Um, Mount Vernon live look. You can see we're looking great out there in Mount Vernon. Blue skies, 84 degrees, really feeling that moisture with 66 at the, as the dew point. That's suddenly wind around nine miles per hour right now. Temperatures area wide, seeing those low to mid 80s across the entire region. We're seeing 84 in Dixon Springs as well as Paducah, 80 in Eddyville, 82 in Murray. As we head over towards Missouri, we're talking 81 in Cape Girardeau, 78 in Farmington, Poplar Bluff sitting at 83. So everyone quite warm out there today. And as we take you hour by hour through the evening, our temperatures start to drop into the mid 60s. So it'll still be quite a warm night tonight and a warm morning tomorrow with that southerly breeze keeping us in that warm air mass. Again, you'll see those slight chances for a couple showers here and there, maybe a thunderstorm or two throughout the evening, but that will wane as soon as that sun starts to set um, as that heating uh, is released. Tonight, isolated showers potentially again Sunday. We're expecting more of those storms, but again, it'll be later on into the day, expecting more widespread activity than we saw today, though. And then next week, the severe weather threat looks to be increasing, especially as we head towards Tuesday and Wednesday. Wednesday, we'll have a better look at that here in a second, but taking a look at future cash showing you those storms that are on our doorstep. Those will continue to push through around seven and eight o'clock, and then you can see they kind of uh, dissolve a little bit, kind of get weaker as that sun sunsets, they lose the heating of the day and they become a little bit weaker. But uh, for our western sections here, seeing the potential for some of the uh, severe weather. Again, a few isolated damaging wind gusts will stay cloudy tomorrow morning. You'll see those clouds a lot more often tomorrow. And then that area of showers and thunderstorms potentially moving in from the southwest towards the northeast as we head towards the evening time. Again, a few of these storms as well could be strong, potentially severe, but we're not dealing with any sort of like tornado outbreak, just a couple damaging wind gusts, potentially a very summer like day out there. We got that level one risk out there today. Storm track three app obviously going to be great to have, especially over the next week or so. Things are going to be quite active as a severe weather outlook for Tuesday. It's got everyone in that possible risk for that severe weather, so we really want you to be weather aware as we head towards next week. Now, an active 10 day forecast for you. You can see those scattered chances for showers and thunderstorms throughout the next four or five days here with the best chances being Tuesday and Wednesday with those strong storms potentially for the evening commute. So we'll be watching that closely and as we extend that forecast out, seeing temperatures potentially cool back down into the 70s as we head towards later next week into next weekend. But really want to be aware uh, with the storms potentially on Tuesday and Wednesday could be severe. We'll be watching that here. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh